Welcome everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play of Fallout 1. We've already done Fallout 1, Fallout 2 and Fallout 2 with a stupid character. And now, due to popular demand, we're going to do Fallout 1 with a stupid character. And, in fact, it is going to be Ugo's predecessor from Fallout 2. And he's named Ugo as well, because of course, they're not very smart his family so well they just name their children by the first sound that they utter and that's the Uga. so new game this is going to be problematic in two ways one the stupid character playthrough from fallout 2 was kind of long because a lot of the quests were locked because well we were just too stupid to accept them and we had to fight to gain XP. And two, because I'm not really that familiar with this game. Remember, I've only played it once. And I did it on video on my Let's Play of Fallout 1. So this is going to be quite interesting. Or maybe tedious. I don't know which, but this is Ugo. Ugo return. Ugo return to Fallout. Let's give him 30. 30, please. There. Male female or i don't know dragon so ugo of course is not average Int does not have average intelligence he does not have fair intelligence no he does not have poor intelligence not even bad intelligence he has very bad intelligence <laughs> all right so ugo on the other hand is a very brawny guy so his um strength is quite heroic he can also take a lot of punishment. Um, he's also fairly agile. Not very charismatic, unfortunately. He's quite ugly, in fact. But he is rather perceptive, so, you know. And agile. And can endure quite a lot. <laughs> uh, luck, I might just leave at five. Right, so let's see. We're going to take... Not unarmed, but probably melee weapons. Uh, because it's Ugo. Ugo, this toy. Uh, we're going to take all... Hmm. I should take steel, really, because that will help us a lot with the money. But maybe also lockpick. We should take speech. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Um, gambling outersman, repair, blah, 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 blah. Lockpick. Or should, we, should I take, like, small guns? I think I should take small guns, really, because, well... I mean, melee weapons are okay, but we're going to get destroyed later on if we don't have some uh, ranged attacks as well. So, lockpick is going to be a bit of a problem, but we can maybe just, you know, destroy doors. Now, what are the optional traits we're going to take? Fast metabolism, no. Bruiser would be kind of okay, um, but it does reduce your total action points. Your strength is increased. Let's see. Action points uh, are reduced by two, which is not that great, but it does give us two extra points we can put into, like this. It doesn't increase our action points back to 8, so we lose um, we lose one action point, but we gain nothing. Wait a second, what am I doing? No, 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 sorry. But we gain two armor class from agility alone. Hmm. Not sure I should take that. Melee damage, a bit more. Yeah, I think I'll take it for melee damage. Small frame, of course, that's not Ugo. One-hander, no. Finesse, <laughs> no. Kamikaze, no. Heavy-handed is okay, but it reduces our critical chance to pretty much nothing with melee attacks. It does do a considerably uh, more melee damage, but I don't think it's um, a very good trait to get, because I don't think it, it increases with uh, levels, which is kind of meh. Fast shot, no. Bloody mess could be quite fun to take. Uh, or jinxed, that would be horrible. Good nature, no. Camera line. The thing I probably will take is gifted. Now, this will give us a plus one on all the skills. Unfortunately, we'll get even less skill points per level, and we're already getting very few of them. <laughs> uh, oh, man. But, hey. Uh, attack skills. Okay, so we can put even more into, let's say, perception. 
Wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, it put everything... Okay, by one. Okay, up by one. That's that's good. So we have quite amazing stats, of course, apart from charisma and intelligence, which we cannot decrease below two now, because we've got the gifted on. Mm, but yeah, I think that's pretty good. Options? No, that's just that. Alright, let's do this! Yeah. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I... I think you're the only hope we have. Oh, go on the time. We need to go find us another controller chip. Combo. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay. The Kumbola beep. Who gonna entertain? Man, that voice actor is really good. He puts so much uh, emotion and, you know, acting into that. It's really nice. I'm kinda slightly disappointed that the intro animation does not have. <laughs> who got the word? No entertain. Oh, who go like? I'm kinda disappointed that the intro animation of the guy talking didn't have a specific one for a dumb character. I thought that was pretty hilarious with uh, Fallout 2. Where the, uh, you know, the, the lady in charge of the tribe actually uh, knew that you were dumb as a rock. There's slight crackling in the audio. I hope that won't be the case in the game itself. Ah man, the days of early animation. Pretty good though. Excellent, pretty much actually. Uh, right, so Ugopi looked through bone. There's no take all button, of course, but we do start with some nice stuff. So, one more problem that I have with this game right now is that because we're gonna play Ugo, and I'm not overly familiar with the game, although I have played through it once, like a year or two ago, is that, <laughs> unlike Fallout 2, this game has a pretty big uh, time limit. At least at the start. So, yeah, I gotta, yeah. Could be a bit of a problem there, but we'll see. So anyway, let's uh, go kill us some rats. And of course we're going to kill all of them because uh, their experience. <laughs> oh, why did it slow, it slow down there? That was weird. 70% and... oh, only 4 hit points? And we can't attack it again. Darn it. That was not nice. Oh wait, wait, wait what? Where are you going? Oh, the game is slowing down considerably. Why is it doing that? That's not good. It didn't do that last time I was uh, recording this stuff. That's. Uh, hmm. Oh well. Wow, these rats are um, quite hardy. I don't like that. We are victorious in combat. And in fact, I think we get a little bit extra because uh, we didn't take any damage. 69% does the trick. Come on. I'm just gonna... Yeah, the game is very sort of choppy. It's not good. It does not like to be recorded, but we have other means. So, whoa! Well, we weren't hit once yet, so that's good. Come on. There we go. Now, in case you're one of those people that... Um, I mean, a lot of people that have been watching the... F my Let's Play of Fallout 1 you know, have been asking, why are you using a knife? Or was it the other way around? I can't remember. I think they were actually saying, why aren't you not using a knife? Or why are you not using a gun? Um, but in that case, I didn't put my stuff into melee. So in this case, if anyone's wondering why I'm using the knife instead of the gun, is one, uh, ammunition is a little bit scarce at the moment. 
at the beginning of the game, so I don't really want to use ammunition on the rats. And two, because we put our skills into melee instead of unarmed, we have a much higher chance... That bloody rat hit us for four! We have a much higher chance of hitting and dealing damage to these rats with a knife. And in fact, we'll do more damage with the knife than we would bare hands. Well, with our bare hands, so... Oh god, too much work, too much thing. Ugo had hurt. But yes, Ugo is back. Just a little bit choppy at the moment, but we'll sort that out. It's not a problem. I think I know what the problem is. Some games do not like being recorded. This is one of them, but I do have sort of a workaround. I'll just use a different recording program and try to sort that out. Anyway, we have annoyingly large amount of rats here. Um, let me just let me just check something. Preferences. It's like combat on very slow. Master audio volume, blah blah blah. Speech volume, brightness level. Uh, Wait, where was that? Oh, combat speed. Fastest. It's on bloody fastest already. Normal, normal, violence level, maximum blood. Okay. Never mind then. Yeah, it is the recording that the game isn't liking then. Come on. You stay there. It didn't go into the next hex yet, so it was ported right back so we can kill it. Nice. You know, the thing is, right here at the start, we need... Uh, 1,000 XP, and we already have accrued 225 just from killing 10 rats. Uh, actually, 225? What? Have we gotten a different amount for one of them? That's weird. If it was 10 rats, it should have been 250. Oh well, I'm not gonna complain. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know, it's worth killing these rats because every level counts. And you might argue that, you know, just go out and you'll level just as fast by just doing quests. But hey, you know, this is free XP. Well, it's not free XP. We have to work for it. But it's XP. There's so many rats here. Where is the rat? I like them... Ow. I like them to let them come to me and then hit them. But this one was rather nasty to us. There, let's attack this one as well. Nice. I like seeing that when they actually um, are pushed away. That means that it was a very powerful melee hit, or an armed hit, and they're most likely going to die. Is that one dead? No, it's not. Oh, there we go. Ow. Three, three hit points. These rats must bite very, very hard to inflict so much damage. Because if you think about it, only a few more bites and we die. Well, not really, but, you know, if they do, like, four damage per bite... Uh, oh, okay. You know, all we need is about eight more bites, and we did. Let's turn, then, if this uh, rat is coming towards us. Also, you know, even though I've done quite a lot of the Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, I might still give a few tips for, perhaps, new players, because I see a lot of people come to these videos and they've never seen the classic fallouts uh, and some people also get interested in actually playing them themselves but then you know because of course older games perhaps weren't the most intuitive or user-friendly um, they can get confused especially because there's no more you know they don't really have a um, what, what do I press to highlight things left alt I think um, they don't really have manuals available at the moment. Uh, I mean, not anymore, unless you probably can Google one. Um, so I'll probably give a few tips here and there how to do, you know, basic stuff. Like, if you want to select a different cursor, you right-click. Uh, or if you want to do something with an item or character, you can left-click and hold. And then, you know, go up and down to select, like, uh, I don't know, use a stim pack on this guy. Of course, I'm going to cancel out of this. Anyway, let's save. Uh, now I have a lot of saves from before, which we'll be going to... Um, come on. Can I? Oh, I have to do it like this. Yes, overwrite. And this is going to be Ugo. Oh. I thought I had to only press backspace once in uh, Fallout 2. But of course, this is Fallout 1. 
All right, let's get out of here. Whoops. Now, we're on the world map and we're going to Vault 15. Of course, we're going to find different places on the way. And Vault 15 is going to be a bit down the line because I believe there is an, a different town right here. Uh, like here. The game is very sort of choppy. Oh well. But hey, you know, the coolest thing is... Actually, no, wait. This is a GOG release, isn't it? Because I didn't actually ever own Fallout 1, so I bought it on GOG when I decided to Let's Play it. Alright. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. Pre please host that weapon while you're here. There we go, Holter. Well, this is going to be fun. Good day. I'm called Seth. How can I help you? Boop, boop. Oh, not very bright, eh? Well, watch out for the rat scorpions and stay out of trouble. Scorpion! <laughs> Are you sure you want me to give you directions to the rat scorpion caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Okay, just let me know when you're ready to go to the caves. That's kind of weird. We never have even accepted the quest. Welcome to Shady Sands, Traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are very f uh, there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Wooba. Uh, it is a pity that you're dim-witted. We will have difficulty understanding each other. I hope the others in your vault are not like you. Wooba well? Yes, I can tell you are from a vault. You have that look about you. I came from Vault 15 to the east, but I had to leave my home and now I live here. Hopefully you will find what you are looking for, even if it is just another place to live. I hope that you, uh, your vault did not kick you out due to your wits. I do hope there is another reason. <laughs> <laughs> you will need to find another way to get your answers as you cannot communicate well enough. I hope that you do not hurt too many people in your journey. Please be nice to the people here. We mean you no harm. Uh. Oh, you know, I thought her her conversation was kind of very weird and awkward. But now I see it was kind of sort of an intro, sort of a tutorial. That was interesting. Weather vane. All right, so let's explore this area. Ugh. Scrolling is a bit difficult. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. <laughs> Not so fast. This is a small, small community. We don't see strangers often, and we don't really need them if you get my meaning. If you don't have a good reason to be here, you'd better just keep moving. Uh. <laughs> I love Hugo's responses. Will he attack me if I uh, open this? Well, no, because that is open as well. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't have time to waste on morons. <laughs> Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Oh, it was the same thing. That's odd. Yeah. It was very strange, actually. I'm not used to that being the case. Uh, I think they will mind if I touch this, right? Maybe not. Oh, there's quite a lot of very expensive stuff here. Yeah, they... Don't seem to mind. Okay. Well, I'll take those bullets, because those are quite nice. Those are the... Are they the 57... Uh, no, 557? Five, what are they? No, 223. Two, okay. We can certainly use some of that. Oh, go happy. Hello. I hear the rat scorpions killed again last night. Alright, so let's get in here. Right, let's try to crawl to the bookcase, because the gamer is really not liking the whole... I will record you a thing. Let's use this book. I'm actually surprised Ugo can read. And this will increase our uh, wilderness skill. Unfortunately, it does also uh, move time ahead. And remember, we have uh, a time limit. It is the showpiece of the Shady Sands Square. It tells stories to remind the people of hope and peace and stupid people that come wading into their town. Of course, this will become the um, New California Republic later on. I believe. No, wait a second. No, Shady Sands won't. No, 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 no. But Tandy is from Shady Sands. You will have to come back in the morning. Please let us sleep in peace. It's late. Come back in the morning. <laughs> what is that? Great. I get awakened by the great mumbling beast of the north. Come back in the morning. Right, so he doesn't really want us here at night time. 
can't talk to the dog, even though I think the dog would be the most ready to uh, understand us. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger! <laughs> oh. Well, that was it. <laughs> see, see what I mean by uh, it being a little bit difficult doing quests for people? Oh, is this the uh, NHS guy? Aradesh. No, that's Aradesh. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... <laughs> hmm. You may enter, but stay out of trouble. Okay. <laughs> I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got to get this meal ready. Mmm, that smells really good. I bet it tastes great. Wait a second, that's not an Ugo response. I thank you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thanks for the compliment. I'm going to tell all my friends about you. It's kind of... I, I don't know if I'm jaded from Fallout 2, but... The, the conversations here Hi. are... I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Yeah, the conversations are a little bit... basic. Anyway... It's gonna get better. Uh -huh. Oh. Great. So that's the entire conversation we can have with Tandy. Uh, and that's it. God bloody hell. It's gonna be horrible trying to get some quests done. Or even getting them accepted. Because no one will give us any bloody quests. We'll just have to steal our way through everything. And, I mean, money's probably not gonna be a problem. It's the XP. That's... that's gonna be the big problem. What's over here? Now, um, I've forgotten a lot about this game since the last time I've played it, so... You can be sure that... You know... There'll be, uh, a lot of stuff I won't remember at all. But anyway... I hope you're going to enjoy this Let's Play, because... Uga, will you? Uga, down And... Uga will be back next time, hopefully with less, you know, choppiness. Bye-bye.